Hello folks, preliminary TDPs of NVIDIA's GeForce RTX 50 Blackwell Gaming GPUs including the RTX 5090 and RTX 5080 have been listed by Sysonic. In addition to the AMD Radeon RX 7000 RDNA 3 refresh models, the Sysonic wattage calculator has also listed the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 50 Blackwell Gaming GPUs. The manufacturer lists 5 models which include the GeForce RTX 5090, RTX 5080, RTX 5070, RTX 5060 and RTX 5050. We should mention that these graphics cards and their associated TDPs are preliminary and should not be considered final specs. Uh, starting with the top GPUs, we have the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 5090, which will be replacing the RTX 4090 as the next-gen flagship. Currently, the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090 has a TDP of 450 watt, and the next-gen model is suggested to to go even higher with a 500 watt TDP, a 50 watt increase plus 11%. Nvidia is working on brand new cooling solutions and PCB designs for its Blackwell flagships such as the RTX 5090 and RTX 5080. So if the company is indeed going for higher power, then the necessary changes will have to be made for the new Founders Edition designs. The Nvidia GeForce RTX 5080 has been listed with a TDP of 350 watt, which is once again an increase over the 320 watt TDPs for the GE Force RTX 4080 Super and RTX 4080. This marks a 30 watt increase in TDP plus 9, 3%. The RTX 4080 Super was unaffected by the core count and memory spec bump over the non-super variant, but the new Blackwell core might need more power to deliver increased performance. Next up, we have the Nvidia GeForce RTX 5070, which has been listed at 220 Watt. And this is the same TDP as the RTX 4070 Super but a 20 watt increase plus 10% over the non-super variant. The GeForce RTX 5060 is listed at 170 watt which is 55 watt higher than the RTX 4060 and 10 watt higher than the 4060T. This marks the single largest power bump over the predecessor plus 48% over the 4060 and plus 6, 25% versus the 4060. Tie. Lastly, there's the RTX 5050, which is listed at 100 watt. And since there was no RTX 4050 in the previous lineup, we can speculate that this would be the RTX 4060 replacement, while the RTX 5060 will be the RTX 4060 tie replacement. Besides these, there's nothing more interesting to go by except the fact that Seasonic mentions that all NVIDIA GeForce RTX 50 Blackwell gaming GPUs are using a 16-pin connector. This should be the new 12 V2X design and not the older 12 VHPWR design that caused a lot of issues with the RTX 4090. Once again, Seasonic is a big PSU manufacturer and they have sources and links to many people including GPU vendors who might tell them early on as to what they are working on. But it's also entirely possible that all of this data is based on guesses made by the manufacturer, so to say this is real would be unwise at the moment. What we do know from past releases, especially ADA GPUs, is that the TDPs are far from from the actual power consumption. The RTX 4090 hardly ever goes above 400 watt during gaming despite its 450 watt TDP, so that's worth considering. The Nvidia GeForce RTX 50 Blackwell gaming GPUs are expected to be introduced later this year, so expect more information around Q4 2024 as CPU launches will cover most of the Q3 action. But what do you guys think about these upcoming devices? Let me know in the comment section below. Also, Share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Good luck to all.